let me go ahead and start this off by saying how hard it is to put a PA-14 that high up on a trailer, especially with someone like Eric. I'm just, just kidding, Eric, bro. I'm messing with you. But seriously, though, that is not easy. We took it from here, lifted the front end up in the widest part there in between the two little, these things. Put the front end up, and then we got in the back, lifted the butt end up. It'll be much easier to unload in the morning. So we are signed up, fishing, and ready to go. First thing in the morning, 4 a.m., we're waking up and we're fishing the Tennessee Bass Nation in conjunction with 10 Cat Holston French Broad Rivers. Guys, you all know, if you keep up with the channel, any of the guys that are local that keeps up with me know that I fish these rivers like crazy. So we had to sign up. We won it last year and uh, we're going to try to do the same thing this year. I haven't been fishing that much. You all know that. I haven't been to the river. So I don't really know what to expect. We're gonna try our best. We're gonna go over here, see what we can do. And uh, you know, if it fishes like it normally does, we should do okay. And we have a really, really, really good chance of winning this thing. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to do this little intro the evening before the tournament. Like, I'm gonna have some fun, guys. I can't wait. I'm super excited to float this river in the morning. So I'll see y'all bright and early. Let's go. Focus, focus, focus. All right, guys, we just got to the ramp and she is up. And she is up. <laughs> this river is fully up. It is roaring. But the good thing is it's crystal clear. And this is going to keep these fish positioned. I don't know if y'all can see that. But there's a giant carp right there swimming at the edge of the bank. It's right there. You can see him. Oh, there he goes. He swam out. But yeah, anyways, water's up. Very, very, very strong. But I believe this is going to position these fish where we want them. And, uh. Yeah, hopefully this uh, pans out in our mind, or pans out how it has been in our mind. That's what I'm hoping for, so. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting getting out of this ramp with all of these trees right here. They're sticking out really far and that current starts right there. It's gonna snatch us up. So we're gonna leave all of our rods laying down for now, just until we get out of this ramp. And uh, once we get out, into the river will be you know a little bit better we can put our rods and stuff up i'm excited you excited eric i'm so excited hell yeah dude so excited. <laughs> let's go guys let's go starting to look a little bit better spots in the past we've already passed them and there wasn't nothing there so it makes me a little nervous but you never know we may catch them in completely different spots down here one thing is for sure we're gonna find out we're gonna find out Blowing water, but it's pouring in. I just, I cast it around and come out. There's a bunch of white bass right here. No. I've had two hits. I lost a, a spinner bait, my little money, and I lost a buzz bait. It's too fast coming down through there. Now I can see I can do a little better. I'm gonna fish this mouth and then keep going. Tell her that. 
tank is actually at and where it's usually at and where it is now. Water's so flooded, it's up. current makes everything harder a thousand percent but we got fish number one he's where I thought he would be I thought he was much bigger than that the way he was fighting though take it he's all beat up too fourteen seven five What up? what up? Shit. Trying to catch them. Well. <laughs> as I'm saying it. <laughs> That's all I'm ca- Oh look, I just made a hundred bucks. <laughs> oh no. What do I got going on here? <laughs> I 
Good luck, dude. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. Another tag fish, guys. We're gonna call that in. Pretty cool. It's a hundred bucks. At least we'll get some of our money back. Go ahead and get a picture, and then we'll call that in real fast. Let's cut this tag off. I need to clean it first. I can't really see. Hey Brandon, uh, this is Josh Sharp. Um, caught a tag fish just now this morning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and read off the tag number TN0163. I did cut it off, but I'm fishing a tournament, so I just just in case I, I don't want to lose this thing, but I'm gonna try to stick it somewhere where I don't. But anyways, if you could give me a call back, 8650. Thank you. Last time that guy called me back, we won this tournament last year when I called a tag fish. So pretty crazy, but we cut that tag off. We're gonna release that fifth fish 15 and a half inches. So super quick, I actually got a call back from the TWA officer. I actually caught this exact same fish last year, called it in, but forgot to cut off the tag. So this is the same fish from the exact same spot as last year. Really cool. All right, starting to feel a little better. I think that's number three or four. Can't remember, but I know we got a limit in 10 cat. That was number three. Thank you. I can't remember. I'll take pictures. I've got pictures. We'll just go look. Once we get five, we might go ahead and upload them. I don't know. I think we need some bigger fish, though. What we're catching ain't going to cut it. And the bad part is we've skipped. We've already fished a lot of our good stuff. A lot of the, our big fish areas where we always catch big fish, we've almost passed it. But we, I mean, we still got some good stuff down there. We got some juice. It's just uh, we didn't find no big fish in a lot of our big fish spots so far. So it's a little discouraging, but I'm catching some fish. Maybe we'll run across something. 19 or 20 would be very, 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 very nice. And we've still got our spot down at the bottom. If all else fails, maybe those fish will be down there. There's one. Little guy throw him back because these ain't gonna help us much and I don't even think he's a keeper little dude Short. Oh my god, that fish just absolutely destroyed that. Good lord. Get in that oh, god, I hate it. not big, but god. You ain't gonna see that on video either, probably.
I mean, he come all the way out of the water. Superman on it. What am I doing? Golly. Not a horrible fish, but not the best fish. Be a sign. Chop the wood. I just crushed that thing, dude. Holy crap. That was insane. Once again, here we are. Going with this current. Not making life easy whatsoever. Don't break my rods. Don't break my rods, please. Grab this fish without getting completely hooked. Sixteen and a half. I got him. Sixteen and a half. Ooh, that's poison ivy. Some of it, not all of it. All right, guys, so I got back in this creek just to get out of that current for a minute. It is 12 o'clock, so we still got two and a half hours left, and we're pretty much at the bottom where the takeout ramp is, so we've got a little time to waste. Fishing's been super tough. I don't even know if I have a limit. See what the standings are. Jordan Marshall's leading it. 85 ounces. Maybe we should keep fishing after seeing that. I wanted to take a little bit of a break, but. I don't know. What a long day guys what a long day wow love floating the river definitely my favorite way to fish is just you know you can't beat heading out 
you know, with a group of guys or, you know, whether it's a tournament, fun fishing, even in the tournaments, a lot of the times I'm with someone and just that excitement, knowing you're floating the river, you know, 10 miles, you know, uh, yeah, I just love it. But uh, yeah, the tournament, that's a wrap. Uh, wasn't able to do any good today, guys. Uh, won that tournament last year. Won several tournaments over on that river last year. That's just the way it goes. I say it every tournament, every year. You never know what you're going to get on those rivers. You know, one day it could be good. The very next day, it's the complete opposite. And that's the way it happened. I mean, my buddy Luke won it today. Last year when we fished, me and Luke fished together. I won it. He finished in sixth or seventh. He still did really well. And uh, today, I sucked i mean i didn't even catch a limit i caught four keepers and i'm pretty sure i caught a few keepers and threw them back but uh luke ended up winning it and he floated the exact same float i did it's just it's crazy how that works but uh yeah we just finished off with some mexican food me john patrick and uh ben and uh yeah gonna head to the house hopefully uh, get this thing edited for you all just i said and me don't forget about me man but uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Like I said, hopefully I can put out some more videos. It's uh, It's been a crazy six months, but we're getting back into the swing of things, and hopefully we'll get out and put out some more videos. So yeah, see y'all in the next one. Peace.